Hey guys, today we're gonna do a full walkthrough of Crumpton Strength, so follow me. Um, so right where you walk in, obviously we have our display of sour strips and our energy drinks. We carry about Monster Ring and then some Fair Lives Waters. We also have um, Callie Cooks Meals, who comes and um, stocks up our fridge with nutritional meals. Um, these are actually really good. These are the Fruity Pebble donuts that he makes. One of my favorites are chicken teriyaki with rice. The macros are really good. You can purchase them here. Um, and then you can follow me for more. We have obviously our front desk, sorry. Uh, and then Dylan's working the front desk today. Here's our lobby, we're our little lounge area. We have a TV going on. Sometimes when people wanna lounge before they're lifting or if they're waiting for someone, they can obviously lounge in here. Then we can walk in here. This is the restroom. We always have a candle lit because we want it to smell nice. Um, and then we have obviously deodorant. I know I need to restock the paper towels. <laughs> and then we have feminine products and um, sprays just so um, if you need to freshen up and then girls have incidents all the time, um, they can come in here. We got you guys. We think about the little things here. <laughs> and then now we're going to the fun part which is the actual gym. I'm in. So obviously, since the last time I think we did a walkthrough, our layout has changed tremendously ever since we opened. So here, obviously we have the cable crossover and then the GHR. Um, and then if you keep following me, obviously we have the dumbbell section. So the dumbbell section was actually custom made by Arsenal Strength as well as most of our um, accessory machines that we have here. And then obviously when you come in, we have the easy bar curls, the straight bar curls, and then the bands, anything that you need to warm up. Right here we have the pec deck, followed by the chest press. And then we have another back machine right here. Obviously we have weights, um, so you guys can load up all the machines that you guys need. On this side, like I mentioned before, we have the dumbbell section. Then we have some benches so you guys can do use. And then if you follow me like all the way in the back, we do have tripods for everyone. We do provide them here just because we know that a lot of people don't like the hassle of carrying their own tripod or you might forget it. So we do provide those here. We do ask people to just bring them back, please, because we do use them all the time. Um, and then this is our rig. This is custom made by Ghost. I think we're actually <laughs> the only gym that has a custom made rig, uh, at least by Ghost that we know of. Uh, we were the first to ever do it and this actually came out really nice. It took forever <laughs> to put up. I know when we first advertised it, I said I put it up myself. No way. It took like 15 people to get this up. Um, and then Walker, you guys know who Walker is. Um, we call him Big Diesel. He's the reason why this rig is up because we messed up really badly and he came in and adjusted it for us. Um, and then if you follow me, obviously we have our deadlift platforms. I believe these are rogue platforms that we got. We did put plywood at the bottom just to make them a little bit more sturdy because when we first got them, they were a little too bouncy. And then um, obviously we have our Dello jacks that come with the platforms. Right now we have only two just because one of them happened to break, but we're getting it re uh, repurposed and it's gonna be back in like a couple weeks. If you follow me down here, we have our kettlebells here. We have our foam rollers against the wall and then we have more kettlebells, more foam rollers. This general area where um, everyone just kind of comes and warms up. We have the turf down the line with Home of the Misfits. And then down to our combo rack. We have four ghost combo racks and then we have one ghost uh, bench. And then we have two TSS racks. The cool thing about the ghost racks, the bench is a little heavy, but the hassle of not having to pick up the whole uh, rack is actually really cool. And then you could just literally place it back. It has wheels at the front, so it's easy to roll. And then you guys come to the side and you adjust it just to um, make it tighter so it doesn't move. Um, and then if you want to keep following me, obviously we kind of have uh, plate trees almost on every, by every platform. That way you're not running around the whole gym trying to get plates. This is just a regular bench. It's like a fat pad bench. I don't really use it because it feels like it's a bed on my back because I'm so little, but I know a lot of people hit good PRs on this one. 
And then this is everyone's favorite, it's the TSS rack. Um, a lot of people like it just because of the grip on the bench, which is really, really nice. I think it's a, it's a really nice combo rack, actually. It's probably one of my favorite in investments here. Um, TSS is really nice to do a custom-made uh, rack. So we have some of the designs on the side, which is the demon mask, and then some small intricate details. We're all about small details, if you, can't, if you haven't noticed. Like, we went all out with putting just uh, the demon mask that lights up and then home with the misfits across. And here we have our custom made play tree holder. This is also by Ghost. I believe um, he's made a couple. I, I think Hybrid Performance has another one. Um, at the bottom we have bumper plates because we do have some weightlifters that come by. And then if you follow me this way, I'll show you guys all, our, all of our specialty bars that we have here. We have quite a lot actually. So the right side, um, these are all Ohio power bars. These are 45 pound bars. This one's locked up because it's, uh, it belongs to the gym. And this is a KG bar. Um, and then this one's a deadlift bar. It should be on that side, but I think we ran out of room. We actually have two big deadlift bars. One of them was actually, a, I think like a prototype that they sent over to us so we can try it. Um, and then we have a weightlifting bar. And then we have some beta bars just in case people come in and do rack pulls. I would much rather people use these bars than our regular KG bars just because of the knurling. Um, and also these are competition style bars. Then we have another deadlift bar. Up here we have the trap bar. And then right here we have the football bar that you can use for different variations of bench. And then right behind this we have the squat bar. It's a red one so it's not that hard to miss. And then obviously the SSB bar that you use for squats. And then right here we have the leg press. Obviously we have plates all around that you guys can load up on each side. And then right here we have the Rhino by Rogue, which is the belt squat. It's um, similar to Pit Shark. A lot of people know that, but obviously the Rhino is really good. And we have the Sissy Squat right next to it. We try to keep all of our, all of our leg stuff kind of unified right here together. And if we keep walking further, further down, we do have our two cages. Um, we put them back here just because one is like the most flattest part of the gym and then also because they're not so much in the way. And we try to have like a little cardio section here. Uh, we have two bikes, a treadmill, a Stairmaster and an assault bike. Um, this machine right here, I can do maybe 10 minutes max and that's me dying. Um, this is a great workout and then I love my my treadmill i i'm on here every day <laughs> and then right here we have our custom made chalk bowl um obviously we carry we put chalk inside and then right next to it we do have a custom made like kilo chart just in case you forget sometimes you don't know which what's the right jump or what it actually is trust me you'll find it right here it's all right here and then we have um, bar cleaners we do ask everyone to please clean their bars um, we provide all of this so it's really not that hard to miss so we ask people to please be mindful and clean their bars just so the bars don't get rusty and just stay here especially with the summer coming in it's it gets really hot in here thank you guys for watching you guys can follow us on all of our socials it'll be linked somewhere down here below or here till next time